Welcome all you diaper wearers out there. It's time for a new practical test from Tykables. In this video, we take a closer look at the unicorn diaper. I have tested it extensively over the last few days and you can find out how well it performed in the course of the video. When it comes to the packaging, the manufacturer is following the current trend of no longer keeping it transparent, but also printing it in bright colors. At least except for the front area, where a part is still transparent and allows a view of the diapers inside. As you can already guess from the name and the design of the pack, the focus is on unicorns. In other words, mythical creatures that like to be seen in bright colors together with rainbows. One of them is depicted on the adhesive surface at the front together with three unicorns in different colors. After a colorful dividing line, it continues with stars, which are not only part of the motif, but also have a special function. I'll show you that in more detail in a moment. The sides continue in pink. Apparently, this wasn't bright enough for Tykables, because blue dots were also printed on the punk and the diaper was adorned with a vertical striped band at the top of the belly and at the back over the bottom. At the back of the bottom, the motif has been reversed. The unicorns can be seen on a larger rainbow, which transitions to the mysterious stars with two clouds. The motifs are also surrounded by a frame of blue and yellow. Inside, we have the high leakage protection we are used to from ABDL diapers. Visually, it's clear that this diaper is aimed at those of you who like bright colors and either have a preference for pink. Or at least don't mind the fact that a large part of it is bright pink. To close them securely, Velcro adhesives are used, as with the entire brand. I find the placement a little awkward. Even if you place the top adhesive at the very top at the beginning of the adhesive surface, I would have preferred a little more space at the bottom. When the diaper slowly fills up, you can see a change from the outside. The stars are made of water-soluble paint and fade when they get wet. You can then only see them very faintly, or not at all. So Tykables has hidden a wetness indicator in it. Here you can see it particularly well in a direct comparison of a full diaper with a fresh one. The unused diaper weighs 229 grams. In my test of an entire pack, the heaviest diaper reached a weight of almost 2 kilograms. Both values are impressive. The full weight is not a record, but still in the upper midfield of the diapers tested so far. Empty, it is even further ahead. You can also feel them clearly between the legs when fresh, which is something Tykables expressly wanted. They deliberately cut their diapers wide, which not only makes them feel secure to wear, but also ensures good absorbency. I have worn several diapers and none of them ended up being significantly less than the 2 kilos. What about the price? I paid €28.90 for a pack of 10. So moving the decimal point is enough to work out the unit price of €2.89. This is within a normal range for ABDL diapers, especially those with Velcro are usually a little more expensive than those with plastic adhesives and sometimes exceed the €3 mark. I really liked the feel of the Tykables. The adhesives remain a small drawback, but you can get used to them to some extent, the diaper still holds securely. The rest of the fit on the body itself was better. It adapts well to the shape without having to knead the diaper, as is the case with crinkles, for example, due to the strong pressing into the pack. Plastic film is used as the outer material, it is very soft and feels good over the entire surface, a comfortable diaper that does not have any major tears in size M, which I noticed negatively during the test. The wetness indicator was a positive feature. This is common for medical products, but you rarely see something like this on ABDL diapers. It is even more rarely integrated into the design. Think of the Abu Tiny Tails from my last practical test, where the strip for wetness detection was simply pulled through the diaper, as medical products do, and therefore doesn't really match the rest of the print. If you want to take a critical look at the diaper, you could of course question exactly that. Does an ABDL diaper really need an indicator to show how wet it already is? Probably not. The diapers can withstand a lot and you can tell quite quickly whether it's time for a change. I still think it's a nice gimmick and it fits in well with the design. But you also pay for it. With the Little Rascals V2, for example, you get an even thicker diaper with a higher absorption volume for just €2.69 each. They use resealable plastic adhesives, the outer material is also made of foil and although they are not quite as soft as Tykables, I still find them comfortable to wear, the difference is on a high level. On the other hand, the Little Rascals completely lacks a wetness indicator and has a completely different look to the unicorns. I would therefore decide which diaper is the better one depending on what is most important to you. 
Do you like unicorns, pink and the colorful design of how the unicorns put all of this on a diaper with different colors? Then you've come to the right place. This also applies if you want a wetness indicator or at least find it pretty if you like the design of the diaper in which it is embedded anyway. Some of you prefer Velcro adhesives. These have advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantages are noticeable when closing the diapers, for example, where only knots remain. I made a separate video about this. Velcro fans are in good hands with Tykables, as the entire brand only uses Velcro and no other types of adhesive. The alternatives like Little Rascals V2 will suit you better if you want a maximum thickness diaper. The Unicorn is by no means a thin diaper, it is even cut extra wide and therefore thicker than those of some other manufacturers. However, Tiny Tails and Little Rascals have a few more grams of material, and the Tiny Tails is currently the thickest ABDL diaper. The Little Rascals V2 lies between the two and is a good alternative if the designs are secondary and you want to get the thickest diaper possible at the best price. The tiny tails may be the thickest diaper, but at €3.70 Euros and 70 cents you pay a proud price that is even higher than the unicorns. What do you think of the Tykables Unicorns diaper? Feel free to write it in the comments if you're interested in this diaper or if not what are the reasons for it. In any case you can find reviews of several other diapers on my channel, I'm sure you'll find some you like there. Stay dry, until the next video.